Good morning from beautiful Chapel Hill, North Carolina. I would have loved to be with you guys for the, as you celebrate the closing of the SAHCD project. Um, unfortunately, I could not, but I wish to sp spend just a few minutes sharing some thoughts, especially focusing on why I am excited about the work this coalition has been doing for the last few years. Just five years ago, Human Resources for Health was far from being a household name. We were barely coming out of the Joint Learning Initiative study and the findings of how severe the shortage of healthcare workers was around the globe. I think it's fair to say that today we're on a very, very different um, stage. Five years ago, USAID decided to invest in this critical area uh, with the capacity project and with the creation and the initiation of the South Africa Human Capacity Development Project, which we are here to celebrate today. Five years ago, the global health community finally realized that the human resources for health was a critical area that needed to be addressed in order for development to make any more progress, or at least faster progress than we have been making in the last 50 years. I am very proud that IntraHealth and the partners in the coalition have undertaken this critical role. While USAID was investing in this groundbreaking project, which was really pioneering because there was a lot of investment in local institutions, like the ones that make up this consortium. The rest of the world, of course, was struggling to see which way to start this very complex problem. We knew at the time that we needed to focus on policy and advocacy. We needed to focus on developing the health workforce. And we needed to focus on finding strategies to retain the workforce. What we knew least was how to actually build capacity so that institutions local institutions and regional institutions who are in a better position to do this work could take an active frontline role. Which is why I consider the SAHCD as a pioneering project. Today, as we celebrate the closing of the SAHCD, the global health community is confronted with some new challenges. Challenges that I believe can also be opportunities. What are those challenges? We know now there is a complete mobilization around health system strengthening. For the first time in the history of global health, there is consensus that the right thing to do the moral thing to do is to leave a legacy to the countries we're trying to support. This is where the challenge, where the challenges and the opportunities come. There are challenges because while there is commitment to health system strengthening, I am not sure people have clear solutions about how to tackle it. It's an opportunity because as a project, SAHCD has done a lot of groundwork. The project has done a lot of groundwork by putting in front the local and regional institutions and for the US-based organization to work from behind the scene. In my opinion, this is the model we need to be promoting in the future. And because 
We have just spent five years learning how to do it. I think we have some advantage uh, for this new initiative. As we look forward, there is much talk about country ownership. There is much talk about eliminating redundancies. There is much talk about better coordination. What there is not, which I think the organizations that make up SAHCD can provide, is knowledge and skills for reaching out the population in a most efficient way. So as we wrap this project and as we prepare for a new initiative, at least as USAID embark on a new initiative to expand this project and apply the learnings, I invite you to reflect on the work that you have done in the last five years. I invite you to question yourself about what will your contributions be as the world starts a new exploration onto how do we work more effectively, how do we make sure that resources that are available to us via donors like USAID, the World Bank, DFID, and others can be spent more efficiently. But above all, how can we be the catalyst for the new initiative that many are undertaking to strengthen health system strengthening? I am excited to be part of this initiative. I am excited to be part of this consortium. And I'm excited about this work because of the unique focus we have when we are tasked to support the health workforce. I'm excited because the health workforce is the essential part of the health system strengthening. When you look at the six pillars that make up the health, health system strengthening, that piece about the workforce is the entry point to the system. That piece about the health workforce is really the cog in the wheel of the health system strengthening. That piece about the health workforce is the piece that is going to allow us to humanize the health system, but also that's the piece that matters the most in my opinion because it's the piece about the people. Because the workforce is the entry point to the communities, which in the end is the biggest target that we have. Because it is about increasing access, it's about increasing quality of services. So I wanted to join in this celebration. I know it has not been always easy. I know we have had our highs and lows, but that's what it takes when you're building. And I think five years ago, we were all embarked in building something new. So I am thrilled. And I'm thankful. I'm thankful to the partnership. I'm thankful to FPD, COSASA, EXA, IDM, and MSH for joining forces with IntraHealth to start a pioneering work. And I'm hopeful that this coalition will share in the lessons learned or individual organizations will continue to apply what they've learned through this project. So thank you for a better future for our populations. I thank you very much.